Do you know who we are? The most dangerous morning show. Put some respect on it. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest on the line. Our buddy, our pal. He started off the conversation with, I'm getting old. Ladies and I gentlemen, am. Joe Coy. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to adjust to this Zoom. I can't do it, man. I, I got my seven, it. my seventeen-year-old son is one that that set this all up. He went to bed. I don't know how to turn it on. Still, <laughs> we, don't we, we don't see. be like Jeff Tubin and get caught jacking off on Zoom. You know Jeff Tubin, the CNN legal analyst. He got he got caught jacking off on Zoom. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm I'm doing this oh, interview, Charlemagne, like Winnie the Pooh. I have a nice <laughs> top on, but nothing but shorts underneath. Just just. Regular underwear. Why are you trying to look, Charlemagne? Tilt, tilt the camera. Let me see. What? What's wrong with you, Charlemagne? You uh, really that right? ain't Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh don't wear no shorts, Joe. Come on, you tease. All right, let me you take them off. Take let me take them off. Oh my goodness, off. you're no. a tease, Joe. Let, let me take them off. Let me see, Joe. <laughs> take it off, bitch. Ben Dover, let me see. It. What's wrong with Joe it? Coy? In it. <laughs> <laughs> We just lost him. We just lost Joe Coy. Joe Coy took off his pants. Sean the man started rapping to him. And then all of a sudden, we lost Joe Coy. What happened to Joe? Man, what is going on? Joe Coy. Joe, as soon as you took your pants off, your publicist cut you right off. She, Katie said, no way are we showing Joy's junk. Joy's junk. So it's not going to happen. Ah. What are you mad? This just makes me mad. Like, this is so unprofessional, man. It's like I'm at home in front of a chimney. Right, Angela? (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? I couldn't get to the office, so I'm in front of a chimney. Right, Angela? Well, Angela, Angela wanted to go on vacation and stuff. Well, me and Charlamagne is thugging it out, so she got to quarantine for a little bit. Oh, come on. I'll go on again. But now, what's behind you, Joe Coy? Why is there like a crying baby? That's my son. That's my you son. Heard about my crying baby that, behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this reminds you to always pull out everybody <laughs> right there. You didn't want a happier picture, like a smiley no. picture. Oh, oh, I'm happy when I look at that picture. Pull out. Pull out. <laughs> But that was so interesting to watch you and your son sit down and for you to play some of the jokes that you told at his expense. Oh, man, I, you know, I thought that was the most fun because a lot of people think I'm making the stories up. I'm like, I'm not making them up. I'll do it in front of my mom. I'll do it in front of my, my, my son. It's just, it, it was fun to actually see him respond to the, to the jokes personally. That was, that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Especially the masturbation joke because, you know, that's embarrassing to... Talk about your son masturbating, and then he's right there. Angela, I almost didn't do that joke, and and then he came uh, to the taping, uh, my Netflix taping, and literally he walked out and said, "You have to close with that joke, Dad." But I wasn't gonna do it. I swear, I was like nervous to do it. But he walked up to me, was like, "Dad, you gotta do that joke. It's gonna crush. Just That's do it." Dope. I was like, "I was like, all right, let's go." So how are you <laughs> doing during coronavirus and COVID? Because you know you tour a lot. You're always on the road. You're out the country. So how is it just sitting down doing pretty much nothing? It's actually the this is the best year of my life, uh, and I'm, I'm I was blessed to be able to be in a position to not have to work because watching my son grow up in front of me, this is my first time seeing him every single day, taking him to school, making him lunch, and wow, you know when when you're on the road every single you know every single weekend you you take it. It, it, you lose that. You, right. you you take advantage of those those days where you're like, oh, I'll see him next week. But each day you actually physically seeing him grow. It's just wow. I, I didn't know how much I was missing. So, man, I love it. I really do. Material from that, I'm sure. So much. I can't wait. Uh, I was on. Uh, I was on. I went to you know Ohio with uh, you know Chappelle's uh, in Yellow Springs. I went. And, uh, oh man, it, uh, that was my first time on stage in seven months. And uh, and all it was about was my son and and COVID and uh, Zoom class and you know just experiencing I hate Zoom all class, that. Man. I, I hate, hate Zoom class. Don't discipline my son. <laughs> now he, he, he has a boner right now. Taking your class right now. You're you're lucky he doesn't stand up real quick. They should have boner checks during Zoom class. You watch all these kids <laughs> fail. Watch them fail. <laughs> I want all you Zoom teachers to know your kids are masturbating while you're teaching your lessons. That's 100%. What, that's what happened to Jeff Tubin, the legal analyst at CNN. Same exact thing. Got caught masturbating. What? 
Yep. Are you kidding me? Yes, he, he he's a reporter for the New Yorker, and he's the legal analyst on CNN. He was masturbating on a Zoom call. Well, how did he get caught? How did like because he, he put his camera down he like this? He tilted the camera down a little bit. Put his camera down like that. Wow, well, what are you doing, guys, over there? We don't need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tilt the camera down. <laughs> hey, congrats, Joe, man! Shit, Joe, congrats on your Variety magazine cover too, man. Absolutely, yes, yes. congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you, I think Joe Coy is so funny. One thing that you talked about... Oh, it's that's upside a down, Joe. <laughs> Shut up, Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's really funny about your son is that he at school let people think that he was part black. Oh, you know there's a teacher that still thinks he's part black? He hasn't told them that no or anything. He just left it at that. So they all believe it. And what? my son's cool with it. Why did he lie and say he was part black? Because my son wants to be black. What's wrong with that, Charlemagne? Nothing. I think it's great. <laughs> yeah, my son has a. My son's got a huge afro. Uh, to be honest, I I really do think he's part black, um, and I'm cool with it too. <laughs> what does your wife think about it then? What is what is? My hey hey my ex. You know she dated some people. I came in at the right time. I got myself a cool black kid. This guy's no, crazy. wait a minute, Joe. Are you <laughs> sure crazy. that all jokes aside, are you sure your son is yours? No, he's mine. He's one hundred percent mine. Okay. <laughs> but but Filipinos, you know, there's there's indigenous Filipinos, and there's a lot of, you know, dark dark Filipinos, mm -hmm. man. I mean, look at Apple to App from the Black Eyed Peas. That fool's black for sure. And uh, mm -hmm. but he's Filipino. But I I think my son has you know a lot of indigenous. But he's he's got the dark skin. He's got the. I'm telling you, Charlemagne, his afro is like this, bro. Can't touch it. So, yeah, he's not man. On his applications for anything, right? He puts black. Yes, 100. percent And then, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> he also makes my uh, sister's husband pick him up at school. So all the kids go, "Oh, his dad is black," but that's not. <laughs> that's my sister's husband. Now, do you still have that zit on the side of your neck? How did you know? Because I follow you on Twitter. It's it's right here, man. It Ugh. won't go. Ugh. That might not be a zit, bro. Ew. I keep you know squeezing you can get hurt it. anywhere. All right, Angela, shut up. Really? <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> shut up. Do you, shut up. Do, do you miss being on the road? I do. I do, man. I miss it. I wanted to I wanted Radio City Music Hall so bad. It was supposed to be March this year. And and we ha we have to keep postponing it. Uh, we have to wait till New York opens up. So, yeah. uh, but I am getting ready to go on tour. I'm doing the you know social distance tour, and uh, you know there are certain states that are allowing like 30 percent capacity right now. So I'm getting ready to do those cities right now. So I, I got to get on stage, man. So it's gonna oh, be empty. So how is that gonna feel? Basically, a place that's pretty much empty. I don't care. I need to get on stage, man. When I did Chappelle's spot, that was a, that was a dream. It uh, you know. It, it was everyone was sitting away from each other, but man, it was the best time I ever had on stage. Really? The best Why? time. I I've been told it was in the middle of a cornfield. It was it was the moment. It was what Dave is doing. Like Dave is doing something beyond comedy right now. It's uh, what he's doing for that community. What he's doing for uh, comedy. Uh, it's just it's unreal. Like I, I told him that I go, bro. They need to build a statue at the beginning of this town and another one at the end of this town which will only be four minutes apart because it's a very small town. Yeah. But but they definitely need to they need to pay this guy back because what he's doing is amazing. Did you try the mushrooms? Because you told us about some mushrooms. Or Dude, he's there. got this mushroom drink. I should be really saying uh, business like this, but... Uh, Chris huh? Rock said it. Chris Rock Chris put Rock it all out told us. I know. that's That was so funny because him and Tiffany were going at it and... Uh, it was just funny, man, because he, the the one the one argument he kept saying to Tiffany was, "Did you drink the shrooms?" <laughs> because she wasn't agreeing with him when they when they were arguing. When they were arguing, she kept she kept arguing, and then he was just like, "Wait a minute, did I do the shrooms or did you do the shrooms?" Because I'm confused here, and it was just it was the funniest. It was one of the funniest moments I've ever seen. Was them going back and forth in this argument. We asked wow. you, did you do it? No, I didn't do it, but yeah, yeah, I was. We were all, we were all gone. Believe me. What were we you were on, gone. Joe? What were you, what, what's your drug of choice? Wow, man, it's if it's not herpes from Angela Yee, it's <laughs> Charlemagne wants to know what drugs I'm doing. At least, at least I didn't just pin an STD on you. I didn't pin a yeah. drug on you. I asked you. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Before your your herpes, do you do heroin? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Exclusive. Are you masturbating on heroin? Quick question. Quick question. We'll be right back. So what, 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 else did you, what else did you miss out on this year that 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 was going to absolutely take the brand of Joe Coy to another level? Um, you know, the we we were getting ready to shoot that special. Uh, you know, I got a fourth one with uh, Netflix, which is fine because I want to do another one anyways. Uh, you know, I, I feel like this this year's. Uh, a little too soon anyways. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I want it for 2021. But, uh, you know, the movie, I got the movie with Steven Spielberg's company and, uh, and we're going to shoot that early 2021. But, uh, but 2020 was supposed to be the year, but here we go. We're getting ready to do it for 2021. Don't mm -hmm. breeze past that, Steven Spielberg. Man. I know! It's mind-blowing, Charlemagne. Check this out. So we get the call after Coming In Hot comes out. And, uh, you know, it's Amblin and we go do the, 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 you know, like just a general meeting. And the first thing they say is Steven can't stop talking about you. And I looked at my manager and then I looked at them. I was like, are we talking about the same Steven or is this Steven from accounting? Cause I don't really care about <laughs> Steven from accounting. And they're like, no, it's, it's, it's Mr. Spielberg loves your work and he can't wait to work with you. And, and fast forward to right now, this, this is the movie that's going to happen. So wow. Dan Lin, I can't, I can't uh, uh, forget Dan Lin is also a uh, executive producer on this. And Dan Lin did, you know, it won it to Aladdin and uh, you know, all the Lego movies. So yeah, we got, I got a nice little crew behind this movie and I can't wait. Can you tell us what it's about? It's Easter Sunday, man. It's, it's, it's about Easter Sunday and it's my whole family and what happens during that, that, that one day. So uh, they love the story and I can't wait for the world to see it, man. Wow! Congrats too for being recognized um, in San Diego with your with your own day in honor of Filipino American History Month. Man, Charlemagne, you are you're really touching. I'm my proud heart of you, Joe. I know, but for the but, but thank you, man. Angela. But usually it's Angela and, and Envy that that praise me, and it's usually you that shoots me completely down. That is down. not that fucking true, true. That is And true. I'm speaking, and Charlamagne, I'm speaking on behalf of every guest on your show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Is this nothing you haven't heard before, but that's everyone on your show. Well, so uh, thank you so much, Charlamagne. Well, I'm just doing, I'm doing this because, you know, being that you're preparing to go perform in front of 30% of audiences, it's only going to be 30% of an interview that we actually do today. So it's gonna be short. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just getting all of this out the way now. <laughs> That's all. Oh man! Only when you talk, Charlemagne, do I masturbate. So I just want that to be in your head right now. <laughs> I want you to always remember that. And only when I spoke to him, he began to masturbate. So just keep that in your head. Uh, Charlamagne, remember that. Every time you eat something, go, man, this looks like Joe's dick right now. And it is. It is. And that's all for you, Charlamagne. Yo, how do we always get the penises? How? How it's do we always him. get the penises? Because it's him. I didn't every say nothing interview. about dicks, Joe. Charlamagne, every interview, it's you. You're the one that bring up dicks. It's, it's, I, I looked at his set list before, Angela, and it usually says like political, and then it says personal, and then right in, and then it quotes dicks. <laughs> it always says dicks. It's Joe, yeah. you know Joe's got a book coming out called Dick Plate. What? <laughs> it's called what? It's called what? It's called a big plate of dicks. <laughs> and, it's, and it's me, it's a picture of me holding a plate with a bunch of dicks on it like this. Oh my. <laughs> How do we get here every time? It's, it's called Charlemagne! <laughs> oh. There you go. Hey. Mixed plate. That's the name of the book. There Mixed you go. Mixed plate. <laughs> Mixed plate of dicks. <laughs> When's that coming out, Joe? <laughs> Next March. So, March. Next March. <laughs> Tell us about Gotta. the book. What's the book about? It's the about book. me. It's my family. It took me two and a half years to write this thing, man. I, dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really write it, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to get. I don't even want to get caught, Angela. I'm just gonna tell the truth. I didn't write this damn thing. It was hour and a half sessions every other week, and I, I, I talked. I was naked half the time, oh and uh, and he wrote it for me, and it, uh, you know, and it was great. It was great. <laughs> Make sure you reread it, man. Yes, one hundred. We already did, man. You're right though about that. I'm like, yo, this chapter isn't about my life. This is the, the dude's. <laughs> this is the guy that wrote it's life right here. I'm not even. <laughs> Did you really have to go back and be like, okay, this is an exaggeration, or we got to take this out? This didn't really happen like that. Uh, the, it was actually. Uh, it was. 
it was a lot of me uh, digging deep and, and being scared to tell the story. <laughs> Actually, I was scared. There, there was a couple times where I'm like, I, I think I'm telling too much here. So, uh, but I guess I that's the book. Huh? Give us an example. Uh, you know, I talk about my brother, you know, and that's 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 really personal. I told Charlemagne about that too, uh, when, when Charlemagne came out about therapy and, mm -hmm. and, and, and I told him what I was dealing with with my brother and how I have to do, you know, deal with a lot of deep personal stuff and, and therapy helps me a lot to right. cope with, you know, knowing that my brother is in that situation and, and it hurts. It hurts to like, you know, tell someone I have a brother and, and then they're like, you got a brother? Like, and, and you know, because I, I keep it a secret for like my whole life. I haven't told anyone that I have a brother and that, that hurts my, my soul. And it hurts my soul when he calls me and we can't have a real conversation because he's dealing with, you know, his mental issue right, right. now. And mm -hmm. But you just want to speak to him just to, you know, just well, how, to let him feel. How is he doing now? How, how's, it, how, how's he doing? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. He's, you know, it's, he's always going to be, uh, he's always going to need medical assistance. And, and it, it hurts. It, it really, really does hurt. Because, you know, Charlamagne, when, 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 you, when you have that disorder, you, there's a window every now and then that opens and it's Robert. You yeah, know, yeah. And, and when that brief second opens, you cherish that second and you have this, this cool little conversation. It'll probably be about a minute long and you know, it's Robert and then boom, it closes. And then it's, it's somewhere else. And, and that's when you're just like, damn it. You know, and and that's, uh, what, that's what really fucks with you. Cause it's like a tease. Cause for that brief tease, moment, man. you're back with your brother again. Yeah, man. It's, it, it feels good because he laughs. He's the best laugher. The way he jokes is amazing. I even feel like, Oh, I got my, my comedy from him, you know, like, and then, and then it'll close right away. And then it's, you know, you know, he's, he's talking about working for the CIA and, and doing some investigations and you just got to listen to it, you know, and I, I give it too much already. I'm sorry, but, uh, but that's, that's the kind of stuff I have to go through. And, and, you know, not too many people know that I go through that. So were you worried about writing your book and you started thinking about stuff that you did in your past or said in your past? And you was like, I don't know if I should add this because I could get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, it, it was more, it was more the Robert story that I was kind of like, cause I, I, I go way back to when it all happened to like when he was like 10, 11 years old. And, and those, those are those vivid memories, you know, envy. It's like, like those are like burnt inside my brain for mm -hmm. some reason. I remember it so vividly before any other story about my brother. It's those, those times when the cops came and when the, you know, the ambulance came and like, those are just like burnt in my brain forever. And it's just like pouring that out was, that was, that was tough. There was a lot of tears on that one. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Is it therapeutic yeah. though? It is like, like I said, Charlamagne, when you came out and said that, man, like, like I, it, it really, it like, you know, when someone says something publicly, but you feel like they're talking to you, mm -hmm. like, that's how I felt, you know, that's why when I said that to you, like, I wasn't like trying to, you know, jerk you know, me off smoke. Yeah. I wasn't trying to jerk you off. Like oh, we normally goodness. do, which is mm -hmm. something we enjoy. True. We both enjoy that oh, Charlemagne. True. Um, it is very true. You guys, uh, Charlemagne jerks off on his knees. And I don't know if you guys remember that, but he came yeah, clean. I heard, on the I show. heard, yeah, I heard, yeah, we we found uh, out. And yeah. and ever since that interview, I've been jerking off on my knees. That's so right. we have this connection now. We, we do it um, together. Each other when y'all do it, we do it together. That's we so, sometimes we'll Facetime, but who holds the phone? That's right. We you do it together. Mean? We call it bust hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, but honestly though, I felt like you were talking to me, man, and and it, it takes a lot to tell people that publicly that you you need therapy, right? So. It's, 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 you know, when you did that and I was like, oh, okay, Charlemagne's open about it. I could be open about it. So that's where that all started, man. So I, I appreciate that. I still go once a week, even during pandemic, we was doing the tele, the teletherapy. Yeah. You it's it's do a really it. good thing. Uh, to this day, people still are, you know, nervous to say I need therapy. They think they're, they're crazy if they have to say it. I'm like, man, look, dude. Everyone needs therapy. You need to talk to a stranger, man. You need to talk, tell someone that doesn't know you has, you know, has any opinion. Just let you get that off your chest, you know. And and it, and it's very therapeutic, and I love it. Are you concerned yeah. about what's going to happen after November third or on November third? Like, um, you know, I, I, of course, who is it? You know, that's that that's the one thing. But uh, I, you know, the family's strong, man. It is very important right now to be with your family and vote. So, mm -hmm. uh, and know it's important. So that's the scary part. So, you know, we, this is the one time where the whole world needs to like, just wake up and, uh, and realize that this is a very important election.
Absolutely. Are you voting for Trump again this this time? Uh, yeah, me, Ice Cube, and Fifty Cent are having a party. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> True. <laughs> that's so funny man i'm sorry dude i'm sorry ice cube and 50 cent has left well it's not cube cube is um cube is just presenting a black agenda and he's presenting it to whatever party is interested in it that's all yeah he's just he's just engaging on both sides yes but if you vote now i will send this to (laughs) everyone that's That's you yeah 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 Oh, that That's is so me. Cute. Joe Coy, you popping. Why you ain't sending that up to us, Joe? I will I, right now. I was sending it. Where's the clothes you said you were sending me? It's at your mailbox. Have you ever checked it? Or is there 10 cars in front of it? Yeah, Joe Coy, <laughs> do you feel it's crazy that he won't purchase those items and support? Joe Coy, I, said, I'm going to send you your clothes. Send, send me yeah, your size. I did. I sent you everything. I'm going to look. I didn't see I, it. Man, you are a liar, and oh you've God, always dude, been I a liar. <laughs> I didn't see it. No, but you do. You li- I, I, like, I know each character on The Breakfast Club has a, a certain identity. And, and you know, Angela's very, you know, she's positive. She's informative. She, she knows the know of what's happening now. Charlemagne talks about dicks. Um, you know, but but she and he also lets you know that he hates you. Like, he always makes sure to let you know that I hate you. But I I'll love interview you, Joe. You. I do. I love you too. And then envy. And then envy. You're a liar. Like you always lie. Like he, he does lie a lot, Joe. You do lie a lot, envy. And he does like dick for no reason. Like yesterday, yo, listen. <laughs> he the other like day, he he lied about two things. Cardi B was on. What was Cardi talking about? Ye? Uh, who was she? Oh, she was talking about her nipples being, um, you know, because from breastfeeding that her nipples. <laughs> yes. And, now, this, now listen to this line, and, Joe. And he Go goes, that happens to me too. I'm I did like, not what? say that. That's not what I said. <laughs> well, Envy does have a lot of kids, and I'm sure he has to help out. My kid, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? He, it's a buffer. It's a buffer nipple before the real nipple. So, like, <laughs> okay, look. It lets, the, it lets the baby start to suck, and then, and then when the real tit is ready, then he moves it on. So, oh, it's like. Goodness. You're a fluffer. You're a fluffer. I'm a fluffer. Oh, good. You're a fluffer. Okay, listen, we're almost up to the 30%. Where can I find that Joe Coy doll? That's right. I can't. Well, you know what I'm going to do to that doll? That so cute. What are you going to do to that doll? I'm going, that wait, you wait till I get my hands on that doll, Joe. And why did you turn oh, it around for him, Joe? Gonna, what'd you say? <laughs> why did what? you turn the doll around for him? <laughs> I just wanted you to see. Well, the backside is the most appealing. Is, am I right? What does that say? Charlemagne from was the, here? From the get- <laughs> yeah, Charlemagne. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> From the ghetto to the Getty. It's my outfit oh, that I wore on, on, yeah. on the special. Thank you. All of us that jacket. That yes. Jacket. I got that. Yes. Those, those are for sale? That dog? Yeah, you can get, yeah, man. Go to JoeCoy.com or, or Funko and uh, yeah. I'm going to order Boom. 69 of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, we appreciate you, man. We're so happy for you, too. <laughs> we didn't even finish. Uh-oh. What? What happened? What happened? I want to ask you a couple more things. Number one. We're going to 33%, yeah. you 33% yeah, now. That's fine. Yeah, MP, shut up. <laughs> God, every time. Yes, Angela. I forgot. Oh, I wanted to ask you, what kind of things are you watching on TV now that you've had time to be at home that are inspirational to you or things maybe that you never had a chance to even sit down? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving uh, the old school movies. Like, I, I think showing my son the old school movies are uh, are, are a lot of fun. Uh, and then seeing him liking them, you know what I mean? So, you know, the Goonies and, and you mm-hmm. know, the Back to the Futures and stuff like that. And then, uh, and then documentaries. I'm like into these docs man like netflix he's coming out with these docs and then the murder docs i'm like these people are he said dicks and he got really excited (laughs) no i heard him so social dilemma is good you seen social dilemma (laughs) no which one's that one oh man you gotta watch it it's about just basically how social media is a drug and how how these you know technology companies are basically filling us up with dopamine to keep our time and attention it's really good I could see that, man. Uh, d- during the pandemic, I don't know if you guys noticed, but look at your finger. Everyone look at your fingers, your pinky finger, the one that you're on the phone, the mo- that holds the phone the most. Is it your right hand? Right and hand. And then look at your pinky finger. You, there, the knuckle right here, that little indention. You see that indention? Yeah. That's where the, that's where the phone sits. I don't hold my phone like that. What are you talking about? You made that up, Joe. You did that. No, I swear to God, I hold my phone like that. Nobody, I hold my phone like this. No, when you're texting and going through, look, I don't have it on this side. I don't like it's this. on this side. 
Look, we, how much you want to bet I'm not their, making this up? Nobody texts with their pinky? Yeah, no, you hold the phone up like this. This is how see. you hold the phone like that. Like okay. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do. You see, do, look, yeah, you Envy, do. look. Yeah, you're right. I hold my phone like this. You're right. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Yeah, see? I never yeah. thought about it. Yeah. And that's what happens now. We all got these little indentions. That's that cocaine Watch. pinky, though. They just used to be the cocaine <laughs> pinky back in the day. It's the new cocaine, man. <laughs> Do you watch The Cabin? Have you watched that on Netflix? No, I, I need to though. I have to start watching that one, 100%. Yeah, gotcha, that's, the... that's my friend. Yeah, so Who's you your watch friend, that. Joe? Wait, are we talking about the same thing, The Cabin with Brent Kreischer? Yeah, 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 I gotta watch that. I, I've been waiting to watch that one, so uh, I can't wait. I and love I Brent. You, I saw you shout out Chelsea Handler. Would you do ayahuasca with her? I know she has that whole Chelsea does drugs. You know, Chelsea is so funny. She's, she, uh, you know, she reached out and uh, it's, we haven't, you know, we haven't been on, on a set in what, I think it's been seven years since that show. And, mm -hmm. I, and, and I've always told Chelsea that she changed the game, not only for me, but for a lot of comedians. She put a lot of us on, man. And, uh, and, and she was hands on with that show. If she didn't like you, you knew, you knew somebody wasn't coming back when they didn't perform well on that panel. Like when we went to first break, she would always look at the guy booking it and go, yeah, that's the last time that's coming on. And like, literally like she would just, she knew who she liked on that panel and she was just really, really good at, uh, at being Chelsea, just being herself. She was really good at it. And man, I owe her a lot. I've always said that, man, that show changed my life. Yeah, that's so the yes, first time I, I even I heard of Joe Coy. You, Lonnie Love, yes. um, the redhead Brad, yeah. Those are the yeah. three that stand out to me for for some reason. Yeah, man. Kevin, Kevin made his, you know, mark on that show. But I, yeah, uh, I knew Kev before then, though, but that's mm -hmm. what I, yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of us, man. Josh and, and Heather, we, it was just a great cast, man. I felt like we were on a TV show and we were a cast and people really like waited for us to be on that show. It was, it was something special, man. We didn't even write jokes. That's how crazy it was. The first season, like we would, she would come down and watch us write jokes. And then the like second, like this, like later on, she just, I think we threw the jokes out the window. Just, it was all about the banter between us. And, and, and I miss that. I think that's, that, that was, was, that was so cool about that show was that banter, that organic banter yep. between us. Such a great formatted show too. Yeah, it was so, it was so perfect, man. That show was so perfect. So yes to the ayahuasca, you're saying? I would do anything. Yeah, Chelsea, yeah. Whatever, whenever she gives me a call, I'm there. You see how he put his pinky up? He knew what to do. Yeah, it's there. Yo, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. And then back to Hawaii. I was supposed to go to Hawaii, but then they shut it down until just recently. They just opened back up. So when are you going back there? Yeah, you has been out, out, by the way. you has been traveling. She's been out. No quarantine for ye. No send her ass at home. I don't have kids. I'm not married. I'm not worried about infecting anybody else in my home. Yeah. Kind of it's a yeah, it's kind of illegal what you're doing too, Angela. Putting the world <laughs> in danger. <laughs> but go ahead and spread that, spread that New York virus, girl. She's like just go her. She's a super spreader. <laughs> She's a super anyway, spreader. I bet, you I, got, I bet you I got tested more than both of y'all. Nope, nope. I think you're a liar. <laughs> I, got... <laughs> okay. I think you're a liar. I think you got tested once, and you just want us to believe you because you're so innocent and pure. I think you're a liar. I think but you're going to go to Hawaii friend, Joe fully Quinn, infected. Didn't, get, didn't you have to get tested as soon as you got there? I was. I just did a TV show where I'm hosting uh, this competition, and uh, and I we got tested three times sometimes a week, two to three times a week. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. even in Yellow Springs, as soon as you get there, and I went twice, and then I just hosted something for Damon John. I got tested um, to even be able to go there a couple of days ago. And before you travel some places, you have to get tested. Like yeah. if you go to Hawaii, you have to get tested yeah. and submit the test results before you can even go. Yeah. Have you gotten tested? I gotten tested about eight <laughs> times. <laughs> Angela, don't let us catch you in a lie. If this goes public, that you, you're positive <laughs> wherever you land, you're going to look so stupid. You're going to look so stupid. <laughs> Because you're telling the world that you've been tested and then you end up in Mexico and it's all over TMZ. Do, do, do. Angela Lee, Angela Lee comes to Mexico positive. And then, and then all of Mexico well, hates you. My expired now, so I can't go to Mexico. But even to come back to work, we have to get tested. Although they haven't recently. I know Charlemagne is never going to get tested. I got tested, but that was what Angela was talking about. It was on September 9th. 
Charlemagne yeah. has it, and I'm going to put it out there. I'm a betting man. I'm a betting man. I'm from Vegas. Out of the three of you, I guarantee Charlemagne's got it. Charlemagne got COVID right here, right around his lips. You just want to bring attention to your handlebar mustache. Knock it off. Oh my goodness. John, have you been dating? Have you been dating during coronavirus? No. So you haven't met anybody? No online dating? Nothing? Him and Charlamagne masturbate with each other. Well, that's what that's what they do. Yeah, I, that's that's dating enough for me. You know what I mean? I I get I get whatever I need from that conversation with Charlamagne, and then we move on. I don't like and how you're judging us, Joe. I don't like I, how they're judging us either, Angela. I just said, have you been dating? I don't know that masturbating together on Facetime is a date. You can consider that a date. It is. Uh, it's it's physical. <laughs> It's bonding. Uh, it's bonding. It's bonding. Yep. Uh, uh, it's, it's nurturing. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's it's the same thing as dating. No, right. I can't. I don't. I I I think I'm so hyper focused with what's going on right now. I don't mm. want anything to derail it. I, I'm enjoying what's happening with my life right now. So I I I don't know, man. I I, I just I'm I'm just not willing to to to. I don't know. Risk it all. Give that, yeah, I don't want to give that energy right now. I need to save all this energy right now for what I've worked so hard for, and go. I need to concentrate on this right now. Especially and, uh, for what's about to happen for you, Joe. The Steven Spielberg movie. Absolutely. You know, you. So happy for you. I, I, you got I a lot of great things happening. Nobody has my clothes up here, Joe, but you know, we'll let it slide out. I'll, I'll go order my own. <laughs> Your book dropping next year. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, I sent a box out, MV. I swear to God, okay. move the the 99 bmw away from the mailbox <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the 2003 fiat the, the 2019 bentley the 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 right. the, the, the 1997 range rover All right. uh, the 1952 sherman tank okay, get that out of right. the way uh there is a mailbox at the end of your driveway if you just move yeah, your, right your your 1963 bug okay uh your 2008 lamborghini okay you I'll don't check need that. all of them joe we appreciate you for checking in man we're so proud of you and happy for you joe we're proud of you joe i love you guys man thank you so much for everything i love you guys love thank you man. too man keep working thank you thank you boss you're the best <laughs> yes sir